industrial training presentation at RK South Asia Senior Murad. And my name is Aiman Amisha binti Muhammad Fazli and my metric number is F20A0351 and my academic advisor is Dr. Ika Rastika Rahayu. My memory, most valuable experience I got during internship is uh, this company can enhance skills, knowledge, critical thinking and decision making abilities and I work on project data analysis, process optimization, and project management, and also fostering industry innovation. One of memorable memory at industry during my internship is I was part of the critical product development phase and surrounded by supportive colleges who provide invaluable professional growth and enjoyable experience. And for the acknowledgement, uh, I would like to gratitude um, to Encik Hafizuddin, colleges at RK South Asia, academic advisor Dr. Ikara Stika, administrative staff, um, and family, and also friends for the support, invaluable guidance, and encouragement during my internships for highlighting the importance of a positive experience. Chapter 1 about the company organization in at RK South Asia Sunyambarhat previously known as Kinarantai SA Sunyambarhat incorporated on April 30, 1984 is the pioneer in roller chain industry having the most modern infrastructures and state-of-the-art machineries and the core of business of RKSA is the manufacturing of motorcycle chains, bicycle chain and industrial chains. Most of the chain produced at RKSA carry a renowned house brand RKM or SS with more than 25 years of experience. RKSA has established itself as a leader and successful manufacturer in uh, the roller chain industry by supplying its product throughout whole Malaysia and uh, overseas. Vision and mission of this company, the statement of policy, our commitment continuously improve quality management system to enhance customer satisfaction and the vision of RK to obtain high technology through endless research and development. Today, it was the effort and research RK was able to obtain the top of level technology in the world. So the mission is to provide their customer with reliable and consistent product. The quality policy is to meet the quality standards and confidence of customer through continual improvement and also compliance to legal and re regulatory requirements. About company backgrounds, uh, it was established in 1984 in Subramfai Industrial Estate, marking a significant milestone in the region's industry development in 1992. KRSA entered into a technical advice agreement with RKXL Co. LTD Japan, demonstrating its commitment to leveraging external expertise. In 2001, KRSA established Kilang Sprocket SA, Sindiramurhat, KSSA, a sister company specializing, specializing in motorcycle sprocket manufacturing. The strategic move broadened KRSA product portfolio and positioned the company for sustainable growth. KRSA has continuously evolved, adapting to market dynamic, technological advancements, and customer preference. In 2005, Exxon Rims Nyonbrahat was founded in Malaysia, and 2010, uh, KRSA merged with their RK Japan, enhancing their expertise in chain and sprocket manufacturing. For the organization chart of the RK South Asia company, it started from managing director and then under 
general manager on the of general manager we've got operation manager finance and account manager and administration manager by the operation manager are engineering department manufacturing and maintenance department all of them are under operation manager and for the engineering departments product process of quality control under of engineering and then for the maintenance it was fm and purchasing and hs department while for the manufacturing department material planning production department and product control department is under them for the administration manager like uh, sales marketing hr and admin and it department is under administrations and also import department and FD and raw material department also part of the administration part products and services Arcus of Asia company offers a range of durable motorcycle chains for various types of bikes including street bike, dirt bike and cruisers and the company offers various chain size, style and configuration to accommodate different models and performance requirements. In addition to manufacturing change, this company also offers related products and accessories such as chain lubricants, cleaners, spocket and tools for maintenance and replacement. And the company also provides customer service, technical support and installation guidance and also custom chain design services. Next is for the chapter 2 which is summary of industrial training activities. My industrial training at motorcycle chain manufacturing company involved tasks like document control for one month and then change competitor analysis and change dimension measuring daily. I maintain and organize uh, essential document ensuring compliance with industrial standards and I also conducted a chain competitor analysis by benchmarking our product against competitor and measure chain dimension to ensure safety. Uh, this task provided unique insights into the manufacturing process, quality control and market analysis and how to change my technical skills and preparing me for future career in divorce. For the chapter 3, which is my assignment, uh, project events which is project one for one month i undergo the the common control and project two is change uh, complete analysis of model roland uh, five series and also change complete analysis of model four series and daily chain dimension measuring assignment given um, for the project one which is a document control each day began with reviewing and updating production records, quality control reports, and compliance documents. I collaborate closely with the quality assurance teams to ensure that any changes in the production process and new compliance requirements were accurately reflected in our documentation. And this does not only enhance my organization skills, but also gave me a deeper understanding of regulatory aspects of manufacturing and for the project 2 which is I conduct a detailed analysis of competitors product by gathering information from various sources uh, such as uh, industry reports, market surveys and product reviews. I also compared the technical specification, material use and technical performance of our chain with those of competitors. For the assignment 3 and this is another critical aspect of my training was a chain dimension measuring. Accurate measurements are vital for ensuring the performance and the safety of motorcycle chains. The four conclusion part, the industry training and motorcycle chain manufacturing company provided valuable insight and practical skills in various aspects of the manufacturing process. It taught the importance of the common control, competitors analysis and chain dimension measuring and the material testing. 
The training also highlights the importance of staying informed about the industry trend and seeking opportunities for improvement. The projects on qualifying a new material for motorcycle chain demonstrates the importance of systematic testing and validation in manufacturing process. The experience not only enhance my technical skills but also improve teamwork, time management and analytical problem solving and the skills and insight gain will be instrumental in the future career in divorce. The five this is two suggestions for the faculty industry training program. And suggestion number one is incorporate hands-on workshops and practical sessions. And this is to enhance the effectiveness of the faculty industry training program. It is crucial to include hands-on workshop and practical session and should cover various aspects of the industry relevance to the faculty field of the expertise. And suggestion number two is establish industry partnership for continuous learning. This is developing strong partnership with industry leaders and organization can significantly benefit the faculty industry training program. Two suggestions for industry is implement advanced autom automation and robotics. One of the most effective ways to boost Productivity in motorcycle chain manufacturing is to integrate advanced automation and robotics into the production process. Uh, this is, can be streamlined, repetitive, repetitive tasks, reduce human error, and significant speed up production cycles. My suggestion too is to adopt lean manufacturing principles. Uh, this is to focus on eliminating waste, optimizing process, and enhancing overall efficiency. Two suggestions from myself is number one, pursue continuous learning and professional development by investing in continuous learning and professional development is essential for career advance. And this can be achieved through formal education, certification, and self direct learning, such as uh, online courses and workshop. And number two, uh, build a strong professional network, which is crucial for career growth. A strong professional can provide opportunities for mentorship, collaboration, and job referrals. This is, can join the professional associations. Be one of the member relevant professional associations or organization.